in today's video i'm going to be telling you things you need to do as soon as you land <laughs> back to another video on my channel so in today's video i'm going to be telling you things you need to do as soon as you land if you've gotten your copr and you have already booked your flight ticket and you're warming up and packing up ready to come to canada this video is going to be super helpful for you but if you're yet to see my other videos things to bring when you're coming to canada and Food items to bring when you're coming to Canada so you don't overpack or you don't um, get embarrassed at the airport. This video, I know I've done something something similar. If you have seen my first month in Canada, what I have been up to, it is something similar. But this video is just solely dedicated to things you ought to do as soon as you land. Keep watching, don't go anywhere. If you're here to subscribe, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell and let's get into this video. The first thing you need to do, like I mentioned in that video, is you need to get your SIN. So SIN is social insurance number. It is very, very important. Without your SIN, you cannot do anything. Like you literally cannot do anything in this country. So if you are landing on a big day, you will be very you should count yourself very lucky because you can end up doing your scene, your SIN at the airport. But if you are going to be landing on the weekend, just like the way we landed, we landed on the weekend, so it was so impossible for us to do our same number. And like I mentioned in the previous video, you, we had to go to Closest Service Canada to us and we had to register. All you need is your international passport and your COPR. Obviously, that is the only legit, you know, identification you have. And that was actually what brought you into this country. And the next thing you need to do is to open a bank account but before you open a bank account i think you need to get like a phone or a line because for what is worth you need to um you need to be reached you need the phone number so that you know if you're applying for a job if you're trying to get a house people can actually reach you calls in canada are free depends on whatever plan you are doing calls to canadian numbers and text messages are free so you may want to get a phone if you already had in mind that you were going to get a new phone as soon as you land just like what we did i and my husband we got a new phone and we got a new sim card together so there are so many network service providers here in canada but i'm just going to mention the ones i know and the ones i have done research and the ones i have used so there's freedom and i heard freedom is <laughs> so not good like you can be in the basement of your house and you won't even get signal so but they have Fido there's Rogers and I think I'm currently on the Fido network and I really can't remember the details so I got the, the Fido line alongside with the phone my husband was the one that started that so I really don't know the details of that but I know that whatever plan I do every month is a two gig plan that allows you know free local calls and free text messages so then the next thing you want to do okay after opening um after getting a phone and a line you can go ahead and open your bank account because trust me like i said in that video you need somewhere to dump that proof of phone money you came with because <laughs> there are a million and one things that are you know ready to snatch like to suck to suck it to suck that money from your pocket so you need somewhere to dump all that proof of fund money you came with there are bank um there are so many banks in canada but i'm just going to list the ones i know of there's rbc there's the real bank of canada there's kosher bank there is a td bank there's cibc and there is simply financial so simply financial is actually the bank we bank with it's an online bank but it is affiliated to cibc so whatever see wherever you find the cibc atm machine or a cibc center you can use their services so as long as you also operate in simply financials just like you were mentioned in that other video they you know it's an online bank 
you register online, you put your details, you have your put your details, go ID card, then they will need you to go to a Canada post to verify your information. For that verification, when you go there, they will demand that you give them a means of ID that has an address to it. So it's either it's your driver's license or a bank statement or I don't know any utility bill that has your name and has an address to it. But for us, just like what, what I said in the previous video, it was pretty hard. So we ended up not doing it and we skipped that aside and we went ahead to write the driver's, you know, we went ahead to write the G1 test, which is which comprises of written road rules and written road signs. So we ended up doing the G1 test and like I said in that video, thank God we passed the test. So we got our G1 um, license, the temporary um, license. It's like a paper but it has our name, it has our address and it has our phone number in it. So we took that license and went back to Canada Post. We did the verification, they gave us a receipt and we had to call back but before then the simply financial guys already sent us details like they sent us our debit card sent us information about you know the bank and what we need to do so after that we we're supposed to call them to tell them we've done the verification so they can activate our credit our debit card for us so we bank with simply financial and also t bank the next thing you need to do is to register for a health card i haven't registered for a health card just like what i said in that video i think we are just trying to chill maybe when it's like almost three months you get but if you're in ontario province even if you register as soon as you land you're not going to get a health card until you have clocked three months living in ontario but if you're in other provinces like alberta i know you get your health card immediately like it's instant boy the next thing we you also want to do is to register for new commerce classes if you can register i haven't registered for anyone i don't know why i'm still trying to you know figure out the nearest new commerce you know, center around where i stay because i don't think i want to be doing so much of a long journey just to get to you know the new commerce center so i'm still trying to figure out where it is and see how it, i can easily assess assess with a bus the next thing i want to do is to get a bus pass or to get a bus card i live in the kitchener waterloo region and the bus pass or the bus card i have is with grt grand river transit or grand river transit so this is what my grt card looks like so this card allows you to move freely within the kitchener waterloo region so if you know you're going to be doing you know a lot it is far better than you having to pay bus money each time you want to go out and there's some places you need to go because you um there's some places you need to go you may need to take three to five or six seven buses to get to that place or all three buses and a train to get to that place and for each trip you make is three dollars 25 cents so imagine you have to take like six buses and you're paying three dollars 25 cents times six that's a lot of money but with the bus pass the grt bus pass it's 90 dollars per month and another thing with um the not getting a bus you know card aside the fact that you pay three dollars 25 you can ask for a transfer ticket that transfer ticket only entitles you to 90 minutes so once you request for a transfer ticket they give you a transfer ticket you can still use that ticket to enter different buses within 90 minutes so within one hour 30 minutes so if you have like six different buses to enter i would advise you to get a transfer ticket from the first bus you enter you know wherever you're going to is just one bus that is going to take you there fine i'm good you can decide to true don't even bother transferring or if you are sure that whatever it is you're going to do is going to be done within one hour 30 minutes even if it's just one bus pass one bus ticket you bought you can ask for a transfer and still use that same ticket to come back to your house so the next thing i want to talk about is start with an employment recruitment agency it is very important no man is an island you are coming from another country and there is no way you would have known how the system works there is no way you would have known how the system works so register with these companies these are going to these companies and um, recruitment agencies i register with i register with zip recruiter indeed 
I registered with Randstad Canada. I also registered with um, IFG. I registered with um, Robert Half. Um, and when I register with these guys and I get to speak to recruiters or I get to meet recruiters, I tell them the kind of employment you know, opportunities I'm looking out for and also the particular region I am looking for this job because I don't think it is wise for you to begin to do a very long commute you know from where you are to wherever your workplace is if you can actually find something you know good that won't take so much of your time you know commuting within wherever you stay so then another thing you can do is read you can volunteer you can register with volunteering services i'm still trying to wrap my head around that i think i did a research on volunteering services sometime last week and i'm still trying to wrap my head around it so when i find the nearest volunteer center or whatever service that i think you know i can actually work with i would probably register and you know start <laughs> volunteering because yeah or well, people like it when they hear that you have volunteered so guys if you are in nigeria and you have opportunities to register and to volunteer please 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 don't let that opportunity pass you by so i think that's pretty much it i really don't think there's anything much again for you to do as soon as you land if, if you're lucky enough to get where you where to stay then good for you if you're unlucky enough not to get where to stay you can decide to you know patch or to stay in an airbnb before you can find your feet and begin to look for houses and i hear you can also find houses on kijiji for people who are looking for you know accommodation i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more of this video do give me a fat thumbs up share with your friends let me see it in the comment section down below i will see you all in my next video guys do have a fabulous fabulous day ahead love you all bye